The Duchess of Edinburgh has become the first member of the royal family to visit Ukraine since Russia's full-scale invasion began in February 2022. Sophie's trip was to demonstrate solidarity with the women, men and children impacted by the war, said Buckingham Palace. The palace also said that it was a continuation of her work to champion survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. The Duchess met Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and the First Lady Olena Zelensky. Sophie, who is a full-time working member of the royal family, also delivered a private message to them in a letter from the king. The royal visited the site of a mass grave in Buka, where victims of the Russian occupation were buried. The duchess laid flowers at a memorial that contains the names of the victims. Early on in the war, after Russian forces left the town, a number of dead bodies were found with their hands tied behind their backs, seemingly shot at close range. President Vladimir Putin's troops are accused of war crimes there, including executions and rapes. During her visit, the duchess also met survivors of conflict-related sexual violence and survivors of torture, said the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, and she met children who've now been safely returned to Ukraine after being forcibly separated from their families and taken by Russia. She also met female volunteers who've helped their communities cope with the aftermath of attacks with mental health care activities for children. In a speech during her visit, Sophie said, It's true that women and girls pay the highest price in terms of human cost when it comes to the way that they're affected, the way that they can be used as weapons of war. I've been meeting with survivors of sexual violence and the conflict. I thank them for that honest in telling me what happened to them. As part of her trip, Sophie visited the Road to Life in Irpin, also known as the Romanivska Bridge, that was blown up to stop Mr. Putin's troops proceeding to Kiev, and later became a key route for people fleeing to safety from the Russian occupation.